How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm well. How old are you? I am 31. All right. What are we talking about tonight? You heard my question. Why? Do you have anything? Absolutely. So I definitely agree with you. It's just a form of deflection. Uh -huh. uh, it's nitpicking on your flaws or subscribe now so that they don't have to stare in that mirror and really do the hard work. And it's actually self-sabotaging in the end, because if you just take out the time to really just consider what you're saying and think about like what you can fix within yourself within a year or two, your life can be completely changed because you did the work. It doesn't even take a year. It it can take as little as three months. Um, right. But I think it's funny that all these women who won't be so much to be gay, they got a gay best friend, they got a gay hairstyles, they got somebody gay in their life. And it, are they saying being gay is a flaw? Or are they saying that you're gay, so you shouldn't be speaking on dating relationship? I'm like, it makes no sense. Hold on, hold on. Go it's ahead. deflection. Go ahead, I'm listening. No, it's deflection. Again, it's easier to point out why you don't want them. It's because something's wrong with you. Inherently, you just like men. And I have nothing to work on. Yeah, are you single or you're married? Well? I am single. Any kids? No kids. What do you want? You want to be married? What's going on? Yeah, absolutely. I do want to be married. Um, the thing is that I don't like to date around. Um, no. no. Well, okay. What was, your last, what was your last relationship? How long was it? How long ago was it? It was uh, a year and a half ago, maybe two years. Okay. And how long did that last? That lasted for four years. See, I hear a lot of women saying that they don't like dating around. And, and, I, and you know, I understand wanting to have a high selection quality over quantity. Uh, but my question is at your age, with what no. you want, how are you going to get the outcome? And this is why I listen to you. And this is why I like what you say. It hurts, it stings, but it opens up my eyes like no other. Well, I need to get out there. Whether I like it or not, biologically speaking, I need to get out there if I want what I want. What and city do you live in? What city do you live in? Um, I live in um, Essex County. I'd rather say county. OK. So you're in the trust area? Mm-hmm. If you're in a very populated area, think about how many women who want what you want, who are doing exactly what you're doing. 90% of life is just showing up. Right. You know how many men are out in the tri-state area, right? Well, 10, almost 11 o'clock. Two hours ago, they were right there. They were at the local, uh, grocery store, they were somewhere, they were out. Because men, we get out. But I was talking on my Patreon group and so many women want what you want, but then they keep their circle very small and they go get so busy doing what they're doing. And you've got to act, you have to make this a priority. If you're mm -hmm. single, do you, do you cook every night? Or how do, you, what, how, do you, how do you eat? I go to school and I work full time. So right. it's easier for me to just like buy one meal and have that be my meal for the day. So are you living are you living in a part of town where a lot of single people live? No, honestly, uh this is a very like affluent like See, I no. This is why I'm so this is why I'm such a big fan of you know, it would be better, even if it's gonna cost you more money, to live where the action is. Because so many women will find that you just find a local, a local, a local spot to where you can just get a light dinner mm -hmm. two or three times a week, and you just sit there and become a regular. Mm -hmm. Men hunt. You will find it. Let's just say, let's say you are pescatarian. You like seafood. Mm -hmm. You like vegetables. And you find a local Mediterranean place, a Greek place, or Korean, or whatever it is, and you go there consistently. Man sees you, never get a chance to talk to you. He's going to ask the bartender, the manager, hey, that woman, is she a regular here? I mean, she's here like every other day or on Tuesdays. Um, we hunt, and they'll show up on around a day or time, and you'll find them like, hey, I saw you here last time. That's what we do. You know, you know, kind of find a way 
to, to, to selectively throw your handkerchief out there because the chances of finding somebody that you like online negligible. Mm -hmm. And you get so busy doing your life, you're going to look up, you're going to be 35. So you got to put yourself out there. That's number one. Number two, self-awareness is sexy. Remember that 2022 is about self-awareness. Self-awareness is sexy. And you ladies are going to have to start becoming assertive regarding mating. Men like women who like them. So a woman who actually steps to a man or is in the area of a man and, and shows some interest, we reciprocate by that. So I hope that helps. But going into next and going into because this is the holiday season, it's perfect time to get out. Right, right. No, that helps so much. Because we went from hot girl summer to broke chick fall and winter. Getting out now because all the single people are feeling the same kind of way. So right. uh, hold on, let me bring somebody else in. Let's see who else wants to join here. Uh, <clears throat> just a second. Here. Do, do you, while, I'm, while I'm bringing them in, do you have any friends who watch my content? I actually, now that you're um, speaking about, you know, looking up and now you're 35 and you're still in the same position, I was um, bringing up your point of view about getting out there and being realistic, um, mm -hmm. whether you like it or not, because that's just science, and to a man, to like a cousin of mine. And he was like trying to sweet talk me like, no, it's okay, Trish, like that's not that's not how it is. And I'm like, no, it is how it is. Like, you don't have to treat me like a baby. Like, he's, he's right. Like, I do have to do something about it if I want the circumstance to change. Um, you don't have to treat me like I can't hear the truth. I want to hear the truth because I want this to change. You think about women, men have been told to not hurt your feelings. Yeah. But if it doesn't help.